Hi, I'm Sarah. For those of you who I haven't met yet, I am in practice in New Jersey, the lovely state of New Jersey. I really want it to be authentic. I want it to maintain my identity, which sounds so cheesy, but it's like people may not know me, but at least they know me how I portray my, my real self. And that's what they see. This is the craziest thing. I feel like it's all going to come back to social media in this whole conversation. So there's this wonderful gentleman, Dr. Bass, who used to, I, I guess he reached out to me on Instagram and he just wanted to talk about NJPMS, me becoming more involved in the local society and seeing how I want to contribute and bring the residents into being part of it. We got to talking and he talked about what do you use in your your office and I said I use power steps I've used them for a long time I was driving to work in my car it was 8 a.m on a, I think a Friday afternoon and uh, you know he was like you could you know you promote the product anyway he's like you should talk to these people and see if your interests truly align <laughs> crazy it's all social media so if I wasn't on social media I wouldn't have gotten the message I would have just been you know telling people to buy power step offline and I would know not as much as I know now if people see through I, I mean, like, I feel like I see through posting people like post on there like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I, the best shampoo I've ever used in my life. And I'm like, great, totally not buying that. So, I mean, I truly, I, I, I buy what I, I already use, right? I've used over the counter, you know, power step inserts for years. And now it's like, oh, my patients ask me what I use. I can take off my shoe. I show them what I use, which is, I tell them all the time. I was like, it's gross, but you're going to see what I use every single day. And I use these inserts because I believe in them. I think that's the easiest way to just translate what I do on a day-to-day -day basis into patient care. I think it's cool. I mean, I think it's really neat because I mean, I'll get into it later, I suppose, but at the same time, it's as easy as to say it now. When people come in and like you've been recommending the product for, I've been, in, I've been in the business for five years, which is kind of crazy. You come out of fellowship and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do all this crazy reconstruction and all this crazy surgery. And then you realize people come in and they're like, I have heel pain. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone has heel pain, but you don't have to have heel pain. All you do is do this and then you're done. And then we can, you know, talk about other things. Your bunion, everything else that you want to address while you're here. But it's kind of crazy that it's, it's something as so simple as, you know, you're doing these stretching exercises, this is your next step, and you're going to put this inside your shoe and you're going to like me a lot more. Son. When I was brought into practice, I was told like everyone belongs in some kind of arch support because the most of the stuff that you buy over the counter, like whatever shoe brand it may be, all of those inserts that come out, like are like they're as flimsy as a piece of paper. Like there's literally nothing to them. Your arch, your foot has more bones, more structures than anywhere else in your body. You can't tell me that that's enough support. And the plastic and the the degradation that happens of the sneaker over time, I don't want that to happen to me or my patient's feet. So I just tell them an over-the-counter orthotic is it suffices for most in the sense that, you know, it's their classic, their classic line is all you really need. If you have a foot deformity, that's a whole different business that we need to address. And depending on what the pathology is, we're going to get into different types of orthotics. I personally like the, the, the Protect Met. And that's why you know, I usually recommend that because fat is, it's the one thing that we all want to lose, but you don't want to lose it in the bottom of your foot. And it's the only place you truly lose it. It's kind of messed up. So I tell people to get this met because it actually puts pressure behind the metatarsals, adds to the cushion that you get when you walk every single day. I'm in the hospital floors every day. I have no idea what your life is like, but when you're wearing a supportive sneaker, you want that extra cushion to make sure that you have a good rest of the day because eight hours, 10 hours on your feet is not, it's not easy for anybody. So I, have, I see a lot of people that have bilateral bunions. So you don't fix bunions simultaneously, meaning you do one foot at a time. So people will come in and say, you know, what do I do now that we reconstructed this one foot? But, you know, like I'm still in the waiting period. I'm still going through swelling postoperative, but I'm still uncomfortable on the other side. And that's when they easily go into a power step because it's accommodative. It'll help support the work that I've already done to make sure that I don't put extra pressure on the bones that we just reworked, but still accommodate for the deformity they have on the opposite side. So I think it's been really imperative to make that part of my practice. Most of the time, a person is going to be in a, just like an over-the-counter orthotic, which is going to be my power step. If they actually have, if they actually have a true foot deformity, like I'm talking like, I mean, I have a guy with, that had a, a corrected club foot when he was a child. So like, that's an incredibly difficult foot pattern to just like replicate. So he needs a custom orthotic as opposed to some of my other patients that just have, you know, like they have the, 
like a dorsal spur on the top of their foot that rubs in certain shoes. We can alternate their shoes, alternate the way that they, they tie their laces and then put them in a power step and they're happy campers. So what I think, this is the interesting part. So when you're a student, I was a student for eight years, right? Eight years, you get a lot of free stuff. And what do people give out? They give out a lot of inserts. So I want to say I've tried basically everything on the market. And when I tell you that, it's, it's true. I mean, I probably have a plethora of them. I can make a, a Christmas ornament for every single one. The one that stayed is Power Step. And that's not a lie. It's I got them when I was at, a, I guess, a SAM conference way long ago when I was still in Florida. And they were really, really comfortable. And since I got out, I've been recommending them. I, But I think it was... One of my patients that came in, he said he's always had a custom orthotic, then he transitioned to Medicare and he couldn't dance at his daughter's wedding. So he was all upset and rightfully so. So I put him into a power step orthotic with the, you know, the Morton's or the metatarsal pad. And he came back, he brings you pictures and he's like, I was able to dance at my daughter's wedding. Why did I never know about these things before? I didn't know I needed, you know, just this pressure point to be altered. I've been paying for a $400 orthotic for the last I don't know, 15 years of his life. And now it was simple as transitioning into an over-the-counter with the appropriate um, treatment plan. So I think it's kind of cool that you, I've seen the transition from myself and in my private practice that patients, they're the test of time, right? If they come back and they throw it at you like, this is crap, the writing's on the wall. That hasn't happened to me and I've been doing it for five years. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. So that's a good sign. But as far as you know, even patient support. I don't think patients have ever really complained to me about how they're fitting the integrity of the product. It's falling apart, nothing like that. I think what I, I'm like, hey, I think this product would be really, really great for you. It's what I wear every single day. I believe in it. And I tell them, I think this will benefit you and help you get you better faster. And I think you, it, it's part of your treatment plan. That's it. That's, I don't really even give them a, an option. It's like, this is part of your treatment plan. You get Say you're coming in for plantar fasciitis, right? First visit, I see you, we take x-rays, we diagnose the problem. You're going to get stretching exercises. You're going to get like a night nice splint. I'm going to tell you to go into an over-the-counter orthotic power step. And, you know, you're going to come back and see me in a two-week time frame. And we'll check, make sure the orthotics are fitting well inside your shoes. Make sure you didn't like flip-flop them. And make sure that people are better. You start in a physical therapy program, but it's kind of the, they come in back and check with me and I make sure that they have the product. It's simple as that. I give them three things that they have to do. You have to go to physical therapy, meaning like you do it at your house or you actually go to an actual physical therapy place. You have a night splint that you're sleeping with and you're getting an over-the-counter orthotic. You do three things, you'll get better. The end. Do you have patients who suffer from chronic debilitating foot pain, painful arches, hammer toe, plantar fasciitis? It all adds up to a reduced quality of life. Power Step is the number one podiatrist recommended brand of orthotics that can relieve and prevent pain. PowerStep ProTech orthotics were designed by podiatrists, so they deliver clinically proven results, relieving many common foot conditions by helping maintain proper foot function and alignment. ProTech is the ideal solution for patients that suffer from ongoing foot issues, relieving and preventing pain, and giving them the freedom to do what they love. Instead of ordering a custom orthotic, you can deliver same-day relief to your patients with ProTech. It's one more reason why podiatrists recommend PowerStep more than any other brand of orthotic. Help your patients walk away from pain and find better days ahead. I mean, everybody that I, oper that I operate on gets my phone number, which is probably the scariest thing you'll ever do in private practice. And people will text me be like, oh, what was that code again? So I know that they're using it. Like, that's the cool validation of it. It's like, oh, and like, the, I like the pictures, right? They text me the picture, they're like, I got it. And it's like, it's like a little boomerang. It makes me so happy. It's like, I know they're getting it. I know they're following the treatment protocol. It's kind of nice. I mean, I had like a, a four month year old come in the other day and that was pretty crazy, but I like young, like the adolescent, like the seven year old is kind of like my specialty. They go from warts and then after like, warts are a big thing in kids. I don't know if you guys have kids, but they seem to contract everything from their play studios. That's the, re that's another reason I use the power stuff. So I'm like, you can take them out of your, these kids shoes and like 
spray them down with Lysol because the warts are a really big issue. Kids, your, your feet sweat a half a pint of fluid a day. I'll never get rid of that fact because I think it's just crazy. And then taking out the power set, being able to like lay it outside and it's not like leather, like some of like the custom orthotics, so it's not going to like wrinkle up in the sun. Throw the power set, like sit it on the windowsill, let it air out and get rid of all of the bacteria, all the grossness that's actually con collaborating to make more of a a happy space for the warts that are treating that are in these kids shoes but overall their their line is great i really use it a lot for the the young athletic population especially when they're like the soccer players like when they first get into cleats and they all have severs disease like severs is like when the the back of the heel bone rubs against the back of the cleat. It irritates so many kids. Parents come in, their kids are like writhing in pain. You put them inside of an orthotic that has like a nice heel cushion for them and they can go back to sport. Cause I know that sports are really expensive. Parents are really upset when their kids are out of sports, but making sure that they're safe and able to go back pain-free is it's much easier with the, the over-the-counter. The custom will take me four to six weeks to get back. These, piece should be, these kids and the parents, as you, if you're parents, you know, you want your kid better yesterday. You don't want to hear them see the tears. They can go out, they use their code online. It gets shipped in two days and like their kids back on the field in like a week. And it's like, oh, this is great. But the gentleman who created, I think the history of it is really cool. I don't think it's like, you shouldn't just be making an orthotic just because you, you know, you got a lot of investors and like you can, you can make a product out of a, a 3D printing machine. You have somebody who is a podiatrist who saw thousands of feet and that's how the neutral orthotic came to be. And I think that's what's really cool about the brand is somebody studied, somebody tried and tested this for years before I came around. And you asked me before about how I think podiatry has grown that. And I think by using the product, I'm actually using what the original patients that came out, supporting it, and now using it further into practice. I think it's so cool. That's my opinion. Being on social media, you'll get a bunch of free stuff, right? People come at you and they're like, oh, you have to use my product, just like what I was telling you earlier. You're going to get all these people that want to align with you. They want you to, to buy in. And it's almost like you have to be able to wade through and figure out what your real goals are and... Me personally, I found out like I, I, I don't, I don't sign on with anybody, right? I have, I have aligned with with Power Step, and that's been my person. Just because I've used them forever, and I, I trust them, and I think that to me is important that I just don't sign on the dotted line with anybody. And I think that is my personal brand. Just keeping your integrity through the entire experience because you can kind of get lost sometimes. This is the cool part about why I like Power Step even more, right? Like. I met these guys, they were in Rahway, New Jersey, which is where I have my private practice, which is not the most glamorous place. We have an office in Short Hills and Caldwell, but Rahway is my favorite. I shouldn't say that, but it's true. And, you know, like we went out to the bar and they're like, do you really, you know, want to be part of us? And like, they're like, just, just sign. And we were just, we're playing around with a napkin. It's just like, I'm adding fake zeros and I'm all doing kinds of crazy stuff, but that's the relationship we cultivated. And that's what's still to this day. So... If you're going to get, like, get a, along with a brand, make sure you really connect with them. You have a relationship where it's, yeah, it's work, but it's also like not, I don't know, it's fun. It should be both. I just want to make sure that I protect all my work and I know that I've aligned myself with this brand. I know it's, it's great, it's reputable, and I want to make sure that people are good to go right after surgery. I definitely had so many things in my mind when I'm signing my first contract, right? It, it's a it's a big step. Yeah, like I don't want to align myself. My identity goes with with power step. I just because they gave me a free pair of orthotics when I was in oh god, 2011 probably. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to love them 10 years later, but I do. So I think it's really it shows the commitment that the brand has had to keep innovating and keep people interested, but it also shows that they're not going anywhere and neither am I. So to align yourself with a brand that's been there for a really long time, it's a safe bet. It's I can't if you would have asked me when I was a student if I would have ever thought I would collaborate with a brand as, as big as Power Step, I'm like, maybe they'll know my name. But it's really cool to see that like innovation has to come from somewhere. The gentleman who first created Power Step, he didn't think he was going to be a, you know, a, the face of a brand. And look at where it is now. I think it's just incredible what you can do if given the opportunity. And the opportunity is there. We can make other people, you know, know about the product, start to use it, hopefully as 
you know, as the residents learn from me, I tell them you're all going to wear a power step because that's what we're going to give all of our clinic patients. That's what everybody needs to have, especially in that it's just a different population. It's just, it's, it's really neat to start from the, for the very bottom, kind of how I did. And it, it grows into your, your personal brand. Thank you.